Hey, this is Randy. This video is going to cover the programming of the firmware onto the electronics boards that go with the Ordbot Hadron. It's a 3D printer. The, um, the kit that I bought was the Ordbot hardware from RepRap Discount, and when I bought it, I went ahead and bundled and got the uh, their ultimate electronics kit as well. It includes essentially all the electronics you need to drive the printer, even without using a computer. I plan on using the uh, LCD to drive it with the SD memory card. But uh, this is the website for one of their auctions that uh, I got the ultimate kit. And so this video is going to talk about this line here. We're going to program the Mega 256. So I've disassembled the two boards. They come attached together in the kit when they were shipped to me. I've disassembled it. I've got the uh, Arduino board in front of me right now. And I'm going to plug it into the USB port of my computer. Before I do that, though, um, I want to give credit to everybody that do that does this. This is not my original work. What I'm doing is I'm following the directions that uh, the makers online have published, and this is really uh, the result of a lot of clever work done by these guys. So, um, probably the best page to start is the Ramps 1.4. That's what this board is compatible with. It's either a, an exact uh, copy of this or a slightly modified version, but essentially it's a, a Ramps 1.4 board. So again, I've removed the bottom board, which is the Mega. Now on the RAMPS 1.4 page, and this wiki is an excellent resource, it's got all kinds of information about how the, the boards are wired, the pinouts. Let me go down to the bottom, and uh, all right, so firmware. You'll need the Arduino software, so I'm going to start that downloading right now because it's going to take a few minutes to download. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this on an iMac that's a 2007, so it's not especially new. Uh, go to the Arduino page, and I want... Uh, the Arduino build 23 and that was specified uh, I've already dug through the Marlin software the Marlin software says that uh, which we're going to download here that uh, we really want 23 I think oh good they say 23 right there as well so uh, find version 23 on here this is a Mac OS X so I'm going to click on this download <clears throat> and start that downloading All right, while that's running uh, so that was this first piece of software I'll need. That'll let me program the board from my Mac. We're going to use, or I'm going to use the Marlin software. So, uh, working from where you can download that prompt interface. So, following the Marlin link here, make a new tab. So, I already had one. So, here we go. Uh, version beta 1v1 current information, EEPROM. So here it says install version 22. Well, we're going to use version 23. Let's copy the Marlin firmware image. Use the download button. All right, so we're going to open this one to get the Marlin firmware. They use a version control system called Git to control it, and uh, we're not going to go through the Git thing. We're just going to basically pull a, a zip file down of the Marlin firmware. Okay, so this is release candidate 2 for Marlin 1.0. I assume you could actually back up and get a, uh, a different version. We'll take this one. So I'm going to ask it to get me a zip file. All right, and those are both downloading. My Arduino download is finished. So here's the Arduino download. I'm not going to put it in applications. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to note that it is Arduino version 23. Now, the first time I did this, I did not install the serial driver because I thought, hey, it's a Mac. It's already got the drivers. It should work. And I had problems. So I did go back and reinstall this driver. So I've already installed this on the Mac. And it. Uh, I was talking to my old Arduino boards just fine without the driver. But I guess you need this one to talk to the newer boards or the mega boards or this particular board. So. Um, I also pointed out, if you've got a Windows computer, there's a special driver you need that they have on the RepRap discount uh, site. So, anyway, he's been installed, so I'm going to eject that disk. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to name him Arduino23, just so I know what it is. At the same time, I'm going to uh, file 
new folder. I'm going to make an Ordbot folder, and I've already got my old one down there where I practiced. Ordbot. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to take this zip file, and I'm going to drag it over to the Ordbot folder I just created. Going back to our ramps. Okay, so we'll need to leave this page open. This is a good reference page. Again, you should read this very carefully before you, you know, follow the directions I'm giving you, because I've already read it and tried it once or twice, and you know, I got a few things wrong and learned. Uh, we're doing a software we don't need that tab anymore. Okay, so the rep wrap. So configuring and compiling. Um, install the Arduino software. Copy the Marlin firmware, so we did that. We unzipped it. Uh, use the Arduino IDE. Select Mega256, so let's go do that. And uh, Now that I have, as I said, I've already installed the driver for the USB. I'm going to plug the Torino board in. And it should have a bootloader already on it, so let's see, I launched the Arduino 2.3. Yes, I'm going to allow it to run this program. Alright, the first thing I always do with one of the Arduinos is uh, we need to go to the tools, board. This is a Mega 256, so we want to change it to make sure that we know we're talking to the right thing. The serial port, uh, it's picked the right serial port, I'm not going to change it, it's going to be different system to system. Alright, and I I like to go to the uh, Arduino Examples Basics Blink. So it's your basic Blink program. Okay. And I'm going to verify, it should go fine. Upload it to the board. <clears throat> All right. So the yellow LED, uh, LED1, I think in the middle of the board, is blinking for me now about uh, once a second. So that tells me that I've talked to the board successfully, everything's working. Now that I've got that, they actually will tell you which uh, file to open. So they want you to open marlin.pde. All right. So let's say file, open. Okay, we want to go to the desktop. Or bot. I did not unzip it yet. So let's unzip it. Let's go to the Marlin directory. Uh, Marlin. Let's change this. Let's write my name. Open. I close Blink. Okay, now we have to make modifications to this uh, this program before we burn it into our board. Okay, so we need to make some modifications to the configuration file that comes with the Marlin software. So a really good place to, to look for the stuff for the Ordbot is the Ordbot wiki. We're going to jump there. and uh, So they've got the bill of materials, all the various pieces. <clears throat> um, we're going to go down to the software, software firmware. It's going to talk about the uh, firmware that goes into the, uh, the board. So we've downloaded the Marlin software. We've already got there. So this is the modifications we're going to need to make. Now, um, we're using a RAMPS 1.4 board, so we need to set the motherboard version to 33. And then we're going to need to set the stepper resolutions. So let's uh, go to the configuration.h file. So we're in the Arduino software. Okay, I'm going to start just walking through here. Um, yeah, my baud rate on my Mac will not go to uh, 250,000, so I'm going to drop it to. 1152. Um, again, walking through the file, looking at it, motherboard. So, we have not defined motherboard, motherboard 7, so we want to define it to 33. Okay, the following defines which power supply you have. Please choose one that matches your setup. Alright, I'm going to skip that for now. Thermal settings, we're not going to do any thermal in this first version. We're going to just make sure that all the X, Y, and Z axes move correctly. Okay, so we're going to skip over the heater config stuff. Rather than me blindly just going through the file, let's look at what they say. So on the motherboard, the uh, resolution. I think that's the basics I need. Now we did one other thing though. So we've got the LCD panel, and I'm going to be driving from the LCD panel. So um, rep rep discount, ramps config, and here it is, the smart controller. So we need to make some changes to the config file to support this smart controller. And it tells us what it is. Let's see, configuration H. So motherboard 33, we already did that. Change 306, rep wrap smart controller, so line 306. And 
I don't think they have line numbers in here, so I'm going to just keep going down until we find the smart controller line. Okay, so it's using a definition here and it's getting it here. So we have the rep wrap discount smart controller. So let's uncomment that line. Let's see what else they tell us to do. <clears throat> Change line 326 to pound defined new panel. If you have the click encoder panel. Right. So <clears throat> if defined or if defined or if defined. So it looks like it's defining new panel for us. All right, so we don't need to worry about that one. Okay, so we need to go edit the pins.h, line 318, ramps v13. Okay, so let's find pins.h. Pins.h. So, let's see if we can find in that one. Okay. Ramps V13 and pins.h. All right, it says we're good to go. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make a few more changes while we're here. So let's go back to configuration.h. And I here we go. Default settings. Default access steps per unit. Um, so I counted the number of teeth on the, on the gears for the stepper motor on the belt drives. And we have 18 teeth on the gear that come shipped assembled. Now they give you extra belts in the ultimate kit and extra gears. I may switch to those eventually, but I want to stick with what I what, what I have now. So those those gears have 18 teeth on them, and I also used a uh, caliper to measure the spacing from tooth to tooth on the belt, and it's two millimeters. So I've already edited stuff in an Emacs file. We're going to steal these lines. Edit, copy, okay, and I'm going to paste them in after their definition. So I'll get a little blank line here. I'll say edit, paste. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to comment out their definition. So I got two of them now. So um, I went ahead and put the equations in line so you can edit the equations instead of doing the math to calculate it. But uh, 360 degrees divided by 1.8 degrees per step times 16. <coughs> and I did look under the Palo stepper driver boards on the ramps board, and they have all of the uh, the jumpers in place, which means you're doing 16 micro-stepping. So every 16 pulses, the stepper will go one full step. One pulse sends it a 16th of a step, so it's uh, using pulse width modulation between the, the coils and the stepper motor to do micro-stepping. So they were set for 16, and in the belt drives, there are uh, two millimeters per tooth, and they're 18 teeth per revolution on the wheel. For the screw drives for the Zs, again, 360 divided by 1.8 times 16 micro-stepping, and it's a uh, eight millimeter lead screw, which has a 1.25 millimeter pitch or it's one revolution brings you up 1.25 millimeters so default steps per unit is underscore belt steps per mm underscore which is this macro here again that's x this is y x and y both have that z has underscore screw steps per mm which is this macro here uh, hopefully it'll calculate all the math correctly i left the extruder step rate alone i didn't touch it i'm going to leave the feed rates alone as well um, and with all of that done, I'm going to try to do a test compile, so verify. I don't know where those came from. I hope I didn't paste them in. Which file was this in? Configuration.h. Okay, let's try building it again. 
Okay. And we are going to upload it to the board. So I'll say upload. My board is still happily blinking from the blink program that we loaded. Okay, I guess it recompiled. The uh, transmit, receive LEDs are blinking on the board, along with LED1, very fast. All right, upload done. So we're gonna do one more little trick. We're going to um, go to the serial monitor, and we've got the baud rate, as I said earlier. Look, start, echo, reset. So it looks like the board is booted, is running, and is sending stuff out the serial ports. That's a good sign. All right, well, I'm gonna go back down to the uh, machine and plug the boards back up now that it's been programmed.